Tubers and Trolls, Chris here with Telesplash Gaming. On the way home from work today, I picked up New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Now this is a combination of two games, New Super Mario Bros. and New Super Luigi. And I never played either one of them. So this is a complete blind let's play. And I love platformers. I love all types, Mega Man, Mario, anything. And I love playing with friends, I love playing alone. This one has up to four friends? What am I doing by myself? Hey, what about, what about Matt? Matt? Nah, he just, he just gave, gave birth. birth. There's, There's no way his wife's letting him leave the house. house. My brother, brother Colton? Colton? Nah, he's, he's probably working. working. My best, best little buddy? buddy? Nah, it's way, way past, past his, his bedtime. bedtime. Hey, hey, these guys, guys be... be... No, no, no online, online and they're, and probably, they're probably at band, band practice. practice. Nah, Domingo hasn't played a game since World of Warcraft came out. And David's probably with the Goof Troop doing some dance routines. Corbin? I mean, I just spent a week in Hawaii with him, so maybe next time. Well, I guess I'm playing by myself tonight, folks. Let's get into it. All right, solo campaign on my own. Let's do this. <laughs> One by myself. Oh. Ooh, Mario, Luigi, Toad, Toadette, Nabbit. I gotta go with good old Mario. Gotta go with the classic. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Mario. Okay, so here we are, and there's an overworld, which is cool. Map view, so you can check it out. So it kind of gives you a reminiscent look of, like, Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, which is one of my favorites next to uh, Mario 64, although Mario Odyssey now has just been amazing. All right, well, let's do this. You get a couple levels in here. See what we think. Acorns, Acorn Plains Way. All right. What's this little flying squirrel doing? Hmm, maybe I should have got that acorn. I have not even seen this game, so I have no idea what I'm missing here. I don't know if coins are worth anything. I see underneath my name in lives, there's a... Little bit of a, like a coin type of hidden, maybe agenda of some sort. All right, so we got like the new uh, like Tanuki suit or what? Hmm. So a little, little pound there. Okay, so does this suit just let me glide? Maybe that's all it does. Which is cool. I'm all about it. Jeez, I I didn't even know that enemy could do that. So. I'm a little embarrassed by the lack of platforming skill I'm showing. Interesting. I love the aesthetics of the game. I think it's awesome. Can you pull these flowers out? You can pound. Okay, so you got like the old school, like, kind of butt pound you can do. Oh, R1 does a little twirl, a little pirouette in the air. R2 as well. Hmm. Okay, first death, but that little area there looked like a little secret area, so let's check this out. That was, uh, I'm trying to go into like every nook and cranny because I haven't played this game, which I should probably just run right through the first few levels pretty easy. But I want to see everything, so let's do this again. Found a tunnel. See, there's so many hidden like rooms and secrets in the Mario games. I love them. But what that does is, if you're trying to like take your time, you end up dying because you're trying to go in every little nook and cranny. And like here, you know, you want to check every single block because you know, one coin might be worth something. You know what? We're gonna just. For the sake of the game, to get some levels in here. I don't want this to be a three-hour Let's Play. So 
So when I came down here a second ago, look at that. I knew there was something. So I don't know if this is just what, like Mario Vision or something. I mean, I don't understand. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like since I've never played this game that I'm like the first one to discover these secret rooms, but uh, we obviously know better. Alright. Lots of these acorns, so they definitely hold your hand a little bit, which is fine. But I mean, lots of power-ups. I don't think Mario's ever been known to be incredibly difficult. There's some Kaizo Mario games, which now we're talking. Whoa. Oh, you had one up. Okay, cool. So the red coins from like Mario 64 making a comeback. So they really incorporate a lot of different like kind of gameplay elements from all the games, it looks like. Okay, so now this is going to drive me crazy if I can't figure this out. Oh, okay. Well, that'll do it. See? So R gives you a little boost of speed, or a little gust of air, basically, so you can kind of float. I don't think you can double tap it. I'm going to find out here. Oops. Uh-oh. That sucks. Alright, well. Still in the first level. I don't know if it's because the level's long or because I just... I'm taking so long to do it because I've never played this game before, but... I think we're almost there. Okay. So, I like how it shows your little Mario flag as far up as you can jump, so... Uh, wasn't really pushing the pace in that level. We're going to get after it here. This is like totally old school 1980s Mario and I love it. Does anybody else get annoyed by my gameplay? The way I feel like I annoy you guys because I have to check every single nook and cranny. It's like driving me crazy. It's like obsessive compulsive almost. Another life. I like the little jump, and then you get like an extra little like lift with the double tapping A. I like that. Okay. Like that right there. I find that really cool that you can do that little extra jump there. Okay, we're going to get after this now. First part of the level, no problem, we'll just check it out here. But now we're going to pretty much speed run through the rest of this thing here. Jeez, lots of flowers. Okay, another tunnel. Let's see where this is taking me here. Oh. Remember these guys? What the heck? Oh, Y plus R? Oh, I go away. That sucks. A little bit faster, I think. So, obviously the first couple levels are not real difficult. But there's, I think there's lots of little secrets and things that I'm probably missing to these people who played the game before. But so far, I think it's awesome. Like, it, it's, it's classic Mario with a little extra twist.
Hence the name new Super Mario Bros. It's okay, come on, now I can. There we go, a little better that time. Use that little extra twist and shout at the end. Two down. I'm not getting the same level of exhilaration when I do like a 10 kill streak like in Call of Duty, but I enjoy beating these levels, that's for sure. Okay. Seriously? Seriously? That's how I'm gonna be? So a little bit of platforming. I say it's easy, but I'm dying, so apparently it's not that easy, but... It's not that hard, I just... I'm playing like an idiot. see what awaits me. These bosses have typically been pretty easy no matter what level you're on. So let's see if they continue the trend of being a little bit simpler enemies. Uh, yep. Pretty easy so far. I kind of figured the first one would be more of a... Wow, okay. Pretty simple, pretty kind of traditional first easy enemy. I'm sure they start getting crazier, and we'll see. At least get a couple of these in. So Mario is probably the first game that a lot of people played. And for me, uh, it was definitely the first game that I got when I got my original NES. So definitely have a you know soft spot in my heart for Mario. And going back to my Christmas video, you know the Nintendo 64 is one of my favorite memories over Christmas. And this Mario 64 in particular was just so incredible when it came out to see him in 3D and they did such a good job that's what made it so much better they could have ruined Mario by going 3D but Nintendo's so smart they did such a good job with him that I mean it just it just made my love for Mario grow even more all right whoa oh you do this one of those guys so I like this little pirouette jump and then sometimes I don't like it like I'm used to holding the button down so that when I go I can just hold it here, like, I'll hold it down getting ready, and, but I do a double jump and then it throws off my game. No way, Yoshi's in here. Okay, how do you get off him? There we go. Okay, R. Very interesting use of the R button so far. What's he eating? So I have no idea what this little Ooh, I think I need to get bigger. Oh, nope, just need to get Yoshi. Yeah, I don't know what this little uh kind of dial does for Yoshi. I'm not sure what eating these apples does. Maybe it gives you a, a mushroom or something of some sort. I always love eating these piranha plants. It's always a certain satisfaction eating these with Yoshi. expecting fire to come out. Am I the only one that was expecting fire to come out right there when he threw that shell out? I was like, what is he doing? Old school red shell, fire belly, but guess not. <laughs> I like how he slides on his stomach. That's pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. What's this thing do? I knew he was going to poop out something. Oh, well, I wonder if it's always a... Oh, I got to get off? Interesting. That's cool, though. 
So I never played the uh, I never played Super Mario World 2, uh, Yoshi's Island. I never played that. I've seen some speed runs on it. I've seen Trihex do some speed runs and stuff, but I've never actually played the game myself once. That little baby Mario that constantly is crying does drive me crazy, but that's convenient. But I've heard it's an amazingly good game, and I probably need to invest some time in that at some point. Oh, this is that. This is Mario 2 style, right? You can, yeah, okay. Oh, I see here. Okay. Oh. Nice. I got a one up for getting the top of the flagpole, or is that just. Ironic that I got a one up at the end of the level. What? Yo, she's waving goodbye. Are you kidding me? It's hard work getting that dinosaur. Found that little fossil in a freaking block. Okay. I don't know if he ever grows. I just assumed after a few he'd turn into a regular size Yoshi, but... Will he eat these things? Uh, nope! Well, bye buddy. It's been good knowing you. Oh, see that's a double jump. I almost died right there. I went to hold a button down just for my own, you know, sake of how I play the game, and almost lost my life. Oh, okay, come on. Wow. All right. Oh, what do these do? Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible at getting those. I don't know why. I gotta get good, bro. What? Did I miss that, really? Did I miss that jump? Hmm. Well. Oops. Well, that's worth a lot of points. Not. Nah. I could see how you, I want to go through and beat every level and collect every single thing, and that's going to be something I'll probably do on a different playthrough, but first playthrough is just getting used to everything and seeing how it goes. Okay, so here he can float. So you get one, one push, okay. It's almost like this suit is like easy mode, just like when you can fly. It's almost like easy mode for some reason. It's like, well... Just kind of float. Like, it's harder to fall, obviously. I mean, not having the little wingsuit here would be pretty... A little more, you know trying, but it wouldn't be terribly difficult. See, I could be going for that. Did I miss one already? Okay. See? Then I do stuff like that, and it's like, oh, I... No, there goes my one-up. Anyway. Alright, little tube here in the middle of the lava pit. Yay. Down the gold, up the gold, or down the green, up the gold. Alright, no problem here. So this level, you can see how if you didn't have the old wingsuit, things would be a little more trying, but wasn't terribly difficult to get to that level. Pretty much a flawless victory. Let's see if I can close out. What is this all about? It's a race? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so new boss here. A little more, uh, I don't know if I want to touch those. Probably not. See, 
I want to just fall straight down. I don't actually want to... There we go. That's what I want to do. Okay. Easy enough. Easy enough. Oh, don't want to do that. And that was a flawless victory. Okay. That was a pretty good level for me. Pretty good level. Ooh, Rise of the Piranha Plants. This looks sketchy, guys. Not when you got a wingsuit. I'm keeping the wings. I've always been more of a flyer. So you can just do this. Oh, that sucks. Alright, there goes the wingsuit. Oh, hammer buddy. Well, he was a lot more intimidating back in like the late 80s. Now he's just a chump! Oh, this guy is just... They were so hard back then. I used to die so many times from the Hammer Brothers. Now I'm just getting killed by Prona Plants. But then I guarantee there's just... Something in... Oh, there we go. There's something easy coming up here to help me through the grind. Well, I guess I'll get this. I have a feeling I missed one of these large coins already. Oh, yeah, you get a 1-up when you get the top, it looks like. So you get the top of the pole, you get a 1-up. Maybe part of the game is to see how many lives you can get before the end of the game, because they're accruing fast, and I've had a couple deaths that I'll probably cut out, because I just don't want that to be seen. Stone Eye Zone, here we go. Layer Cake Desert 1. Ooh. What's the timing on this? One, two, three. Okay. That's the timing. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? What have I done? There we go. If it wasn't such a hurry the first time, I probably would have saw the pattern and actually figured it out. Oh, here we go, my best friend. Oh, it brings you up? Well, that's convenient. I didn't realize that. Jeez. I thought I had another death on my hand here. Hmm. Okay. Again, just... This would be a fun game to speedrun, I think, once you get the hang of it. Or the hang of each level and kind of know the basics behind it. Another toad, little toad uh, home. Geez, there's a lot of power-ups in here. They just give it away. I mean, this is definitely a, a game. Oh, nab it. Right? This is terrible. Some weirdo stole a bunch of my stuff, and he's so fast, I'll never catch him. Please, you gotta help me. Okay. Wow, he's really cruising here. Okay, well, why not? Let me go catch this son of a... Alright, buddy. Whoa, catch Nabbit. Oh, this is, like a, this is cool. It's like a speed run. Like, you gotta like run through the level as fast as you can. Yes, you do. Oh, I'm gonna catch you. That's a joke. Got Usain Bolt behind the wheel here. Mmm. Or behind the controller. You get my stuff back. Thanks. And, oh. What does that do? Why, why do I want this toad head with the P on it? I'm going to use it right now. Power! What is this? Like the Iron Sheik? Perilous Pokey Cave. Okay. What does this thing do? Can I fly, maybe? 
Oh, you can. Oh, or it just makes the nostalgic noise from Mario 3. We'll find out. Maybe you can... Oh, you can press R and you can fly the whole time. That's sick. Okay, well, you want to see how you cheat? You just do this. What? <laughs> hey. I don't care about playing fair. Oh, whoa, well, don't lose a P on this level. This is not with the best level to honestly use it. This is... Oh, wow, that was close. There's a lot of other levels that pro... Oh, that would have been better to use that little P. This is not the good one. Oh, I get Yoshi at the end? Like, what's... What's Yoshi going to be good for here? This one right here is the one you got to go through. It's lit up more. See, I knew it. It's like light green. Okay. Is there like a get Yoshi full? Need these guys? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, Yoshi sure makes this level a little easier. Gotta get a whole body here so I can devour this thing. Yeah, poop me out something tasty. Oh wow, it's always the same thing. Maybe the different Yoshi gives me different feces to feast on. I don't know. I mean, I'd be pretty desperate if I was riding a dinosaur and it pooped something out and I took the chance of eating it, but... No questions asked from Mario. This guy's gonna get pink eye. Alright, I, ju I jump off a of Yoshi and you that's how you get the one-up, but I'm gonna keep my Yoshi for it. No, I'm not, because you lose him, so see you later, Yoshi. how you do it. Next level. See? Can I climb up these things? I mean, I don't understand why they're... Oh, I know what I gotta do. No, I don't. Wow. Oh. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Close! It's all skill though. I need mushroom. That's what I want. I want a mushroom or a fire flower. I think it's called a fire flower. I mean, I, I consider myself a pretty uh, esteemed gamer, and, but you know, a lot of times, like, all your gaming knowledge is just passed on from kids in the playground when you're young. So for me, it's like, I call it fire flower. That's the right name, isn't it? Is there certain things that you guys have called? you know, certain stuff in games and you realize that's not even the real name, you just heard it when you were a kid and you just called it that. Some of the things I don't like, I don't know if I like that. I mean, I mentioned it a million times, you're probably sick of saying it, but, or hearing it, but truth be told, it's just kind of wonky. The way you gotta... See right there, like, I'm pressing double jump. Jump off. Like, it's not a me problem. I know it's not. It's you. Not me. Which one of these? Ooh, I went on the very first one. Is there... Nope. Oh, I gotta freaking go up here and split these up. I already know what I gotta do. And by know what I have to do, I completely have no idea. I just assume that I have to find a little spinny thing here. Split these apart. And then go for it. See you later. Okay. Oh, not the standard fight. Well, I got my f little, uh, fro- And what is this thing called? It's like a frozen flower? I mean, it's obviously not a fire flower. It's like a- f Some other new name. Okay. Oh, come on. Old school. Just sit there and stomp on his head a bunch of times. Okay. Well, these guys are pretty... The first couple of these guys are pretty easy. Pretty par for the course in terms of the difficulty with those guys. 
Can't go in there? Nope. Oh. I'm gonna get that cloud back. Come here. There we go. Easy mode. Cheats. Right here. Fly over the top. That level's... Hey! Not too bad. Thanks a million for your help. Here, take this. Wow. Oh my gosh! I got a fire flower! So the other one, if it's a fire... Ice flower? I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, right? Fire flower, ice flower is the opposite? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but... I mean... Science. Alright. See what we got here, guys. Okay, this is kind of cool. He's ugly. Ugly son of a gan. Shocks you when he does that. Um. Okay. Okay. Well, well I don't understand what I'm doing here. Okay, that's not terrible. Not terrible. So I'm just dodging these sledgehammers that he's hitting this little guy with. That shocks me. Pretty easy there. Pretty terrible on the aiming there for me, but I get it. It wasn't that bad. Okay. If I die, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. That's not very hard. For some reason, that little second one always gets me. This one's a jumpy one. There we go. That's a jumpy one. That one is too. Easy enough. Easy enough. Okay. So long, ya Bowser. So long, me Bowser. All right. Well, got a few castles done. Got a couple. Just tore through that layer cake. Like it's my birthday. Well, guys, that is kind of the blind. You know, first part of Super Mario Bros. Uh, Deluxe. Uh, what do I think about it? I think it's great. I think it's cool. I think it's really fun. There's a couple quirky things that I don't like, but it's mainly because I just haven't played it. I don't know if I like that double jump. It's more like a double pure you know, pirouette kind of in the air. But overall, the game is really fun. It's totally Mario. I mean, you know, all the Marios combined into a new Super Mario. Imagine that. Uh, with that being said, I do think it would be way more fun playing with one or two people just because it's not a hard game. It's, you know, you die you die like every Mario game because you just are trying to run through it and you think you're amazing at platform games and you die a few times and you realize it's super simple. So with that being said, I think this would be a really fun co-op game, especially with a friend or like if you have a younger kid at home to play with them, they'd have a blast. I will definitely bring my son in for some playthroughs on this one. But if you're looking at getting this game, I think it's really cool. And it's, uh, it's a really fun kind of trip down Nostalgia Lane with a modern twist. So check out the game. Guys, let me know what you think. Have you played it? Uh, have you played Mario Odyssey? That's the one I really am into right now. But I do like uh, taking a break from Odyssey and getting some kind of old school 2D side-scrolling platforming. Uh, with that being said, I do like Mega Man 11 a little bit more because it's harder. But they're completely different games. Uh, so anyway, alright guys, keep rolling. Keep trolling. We'll talk to you later.